Have you ever had childhood dreams that you almost forget? Well, if you ask me, I have a lot. Every time I remember them, I always make sure to include these in my life bucket list. After I solo traveled to Batanas in 2014, I desired more to explore the beautiful places of Sagada and Banaue. There are a lot of ways in going there. First, you can rent a car and use the OG Google Maps. If you can't drive a car like me and you want to feel more adventurous, riding a bus is an option. Koda Bus Lines is one of the famous bus liners who can bring you there. Just make sure to check their website for their bus schedules to avoid problems in going back to Manila. You also need to check Sagada Tourism Office's website to register your personal details which are needed before going there. The third, the most easiest and less hassle way of going there is joining a group tour. I chose this option because I only have 4 days to explore these places and I can't imagine myself extending my stay because, you know, this travel is already on budget. Our group tour pickup time is at 8 p.m. So I had to stay in Metro Manila for a couple of hours. But I did not mind the time and still enjoyed amongst the hustle and bustle of the city. So I'm already here at MOA and I'm just waiting for our van driver. So while waiting, kain muna tayo ng Shomai Chow Fan from Chow King. And of course, partnered with Ice Tea. Let's eat. Hi guys. <laughs> we are here in Sanbanga and we're taking our pee break. So after this, travel continues. So medyo mahaba habang biyahe to. And buti na lang nakatulog ako sa biyahe. I haven't had my sleep yet since yesterday. So it was a rough 10 plus hour ride from Manila to Banawe, but I was able to take naps. Except for the time when we got stuck in heavy traffic, I think it lasted for almost 3 hours due to unmanned road repairs somewhere in Cagayan Valley. After almost 10 hours of travel, we're finally here in Banawe. So if we not come in stuck in traffic, no, uh, we could have arrive here earlier so anyway i wouldn't mind so saglit lang kami dito guys picture picture lang and then we'll find a place to eat so dito daw kami kakain sa las vegas restaurant diba? from banawe to las vegas so medyo wala pang price Tina na kung sa loob. Dito sa Las Vegas restaurant, guys. Maganda yung view. Let me show it to you. Oh, di ba? I'm not sure if anong part na to, but amazing. Oh, meron silang Banawi rice terraces, a mini Banawi rice terraces. So I'm very excited to see the actual Banawi rice terraces because 
you know, uh, always siyang nababanggit sa mga klase noon or sa ating classes. Meron pa kayong hot silog? Hot silog? Um, So, ito yung long silog nila. This cost me 105 pesos. And 3 in 1 coffee, 30 pesos. So, in furnace naman sa serving nila. No? Medyo marami rin. Let's eat. We are done with our breakfast. And so far, sulit naman siya. Sa halagang 105 pesos. And busog na ako. So I think we're going to Banawi Rice Terraces and let's go para uh, makarating na tayo ng Sagada. Hi! Finally, we are in Banawi to see the UNESCO World Heritage Rice Terraces. Imagine these are the picturesque terraces we've been seeing at the back portion of our 20 peso bill. So eto na guys. Excited na ako. So kahit wala akong ligo, excited pa rin. So eto na siya. Banawi Rice Terraces. Diba? I've only seen this uh, sa mga printed charts yung ginugupit natin. Books, postcards, and now I'm already here. Oh my god. So just in case you don't know, uh, Banawe Rice Terraces is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Actually, ngayon ko lang nalaman ng dahil sa 20 peso bill. Okay, you should check this out. After a quick glimpse of Banawe's incomparable beauty, we continued our ride going to our main stop, Sagada. Our travel from Banawe to Sagada is one of the most scenic rides I have ever had. All you can see is beautiful mountains, many terraces, and waterfalls. Two hours later, we finally arrived at Ate Gaya's beautiful home, Gaya's homestay. I was really surprised to feel how cold her house is. Cold in a good way. Her place really feels like home. I loved it. Alright, so after almost two hours from Banawe, we're already here in Sagada. So we'll just settle in and take a rest. Mahaba, pero enjoy naman. Ang layo pala dito. Solo joiner ka. Oo. Sige. Lala. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Ano po po ang alam nito? Guya Homestake po Guya? Okay, ipasok yung sapatos? Oo, ipasok yun. Dito na lang natin iwan. Pag dan sa labas. Ay, ilabig kayo? In fairness, maginaw naman dito sa loob. So, no need na mag-aircon. So, I'm looking for my room. Apa? Number three. Ay, tapo. Ah, sige. Thank you. Okay. Wow. So, meron pang view ang aking kwarto. So, I'm at Guya's Guya's homestay and I only added 500 pesos for me to own the whole room. So, I'll be sleeping alone tonight. So, malit lang siya. Napakalit lang na room. And there is no aircon because I think malamig naman siya sa gabi. So, I can't wait to sleep more than 8 hours. So, I've been traveling since Friday morning so nakakapagod talaga siya. So I think pwede siyang ma-open. Akala ko sirado siya. 
Oh, diba? So I can go outside and enjoy the view. Pero walang mga... Oy, may isang chair dun. So ito pa yung view niya. Okay na. Ah, thank you, Tay. Okay, okay na to. Thank you. Hindi pa siya lang masikip. Ah, okay naman. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat. Ano ang pangalan mo? Guya. Guya. <laughs> Upload ko to sa vlog ko. <laughs> Ay, vlogger ka. Oo. Oh. Ito ang pangalan. Ah, sige. <laughs> so, this is the living room of Ate Guya. Guya. G-E-Y-A. -E. Ito po yung buhok ng pangalan. Ah, okay, Guya. So even if the house doesn't have a, an aircon, it's very cold. And this is her kitchen. Okay, lang ba? No. <laughs> Thank you. It's very, you know, relaxing. And pinhiram panya ako ng ano sleepers. Thank you po <laughs> Thank you then. po to. Parang la brother siya no. Ah, cute ka yun. Pero may yung. Pwede tayong mama niya. Hi! Hey, the tacos man. Look at me! Look at me, baby! Hi, oh, you're so cute, cute. Huh? Hey, 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 so we are here at Sagada Hub. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, um, we're about to take our lunch before we'll have our tour. So I'm actually full, but I need to take my lunch because uh, hindi na kami makakain mamaya and we need energy. And I ordered kimchi ramen <laughs> I know I don't know what the taste will like but anyway I like kimchi so labana a lot of suitors but no one knew knew the summer couldn't be so blue they don't get it they don't ever will mm, all alone yeah she cut off the gram and herself from it all yeah hey, kid, kid. and she's hopeful hey. for a new beginning hey. What's your name? <laughs> For our tour, we first visited the Church of St. Mary the Virgin, which was built in 1904. This church had no paintworks outside, which makes it more natural and adds a rustic feel. Our first site for today is a church, and I don't know the name yet. So, alamin natin. <laughs> Apparently they have a bell here and ilang years na ba to? 1938. So kayo na bahala magbilang kung ilang years na to, o, di ba? Issue. This is the Church of Saint Mary the Virgin. So nakita ko lang siya sa ano, sa mga papel na dinikit sa bulletin board. So ano next natin ba? Ito yung, yung cemetery Ah! Yung, 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 yung ang susunod Cemetery mo na O oh, shout out para Jasper na? Jasper? Jerson, Jerson Ah, Jerson <laughs> Jerson na eh, shout out Shout out uh, He's also a joiner sa group na to So this is one of our killer hikes here in Sagada <laughs> Day one pa lang to, ah. So sana pagbaba natin na ano, galing Baguio ano, malit na yun siya natin. So just outside the church of St. Mary the Virgin, across that is a cemetery. So literal na papaso kami sa isang cementerio. So good luck sa atin dito. <laughs> Sige na mamira diya sa Ginusto niyo yan <laughs> Kayanin niyo 
Nga nang ni-enter. Wala kayong zipline dito, kuya. We also visited Campo Santo Cemetery, which is just located near the said church. It is also part of our trail going to Echo Valley, so we had a chance to visit one of our country's heroes, PO3 Noel Golokan, an Igorot, a native of Sagada, and part of the SAF 44 heroism. He was buried in this cemetery. Saan ni Lapok or Tai? Sa pag mga ganyan na mga bato boss, ano yan? Limestone? Limestone yan. Ah. O ka na, limestone na na siya. So, eto yung view. Sementeryo lang to ha. Pero ang ganda ng view. So, kahit malayo pa siya guys. Matatanam mo niya yung mga ano. Mga hanging coffins. Can't wait to see it. Murg na ajay, di mo balik. Ano yun niya? So, may drone o. Since what mtay drone mo, hay na lang ta. So, pababa talaga siya guys. And, ewan ko lang if may makakabalik pa. Pababa pa nga na, gikutas ako. Loh. Mauna gini Mauna gini ang start sa agon ni eh. Yan magdusa kayo ginusto nyo yan eh So eto na siya guys Ito yung mga naririnig ko sa mga uh, Lessons na mga teacher noon teacher. Teachers noon The hanging coffins Oh my god Worth the trail. The people of Sagada follow a unique burial ritual. The elderly make their own coffins out of a wooden log. They first let the dead body sit in a fetal position on a wooden chair and then bring it to the burial site where the coffin was placed hours earlier. The coffins are hung either inside the caves or on the face of the cliffs near the hanging coffins of their ancestors. It is believed that they have been practicing such burials for over 2,000 years and some of the coffins are already a century old. Amazing, right? Tabang mga langit. Parang naje di kaapilog tour ugma. Kakutas man. Yeah, yeah, mag-tour pa mo, Ugma. Yes. <laughs> Tour pa mo. Tour pa laban lang. Tour pa mo. <laughs> According sa mga tour guides, uh, before nila ihang yung mga coffins, pinapaupo nila ng mga silya ang mga patay para mag-form into a yung parang nakayuko. And then after that, they hang it para mas malapit daw sila sa pan Panginoon. So, so far, yun lang yung narinig ko. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. You see my face is just a silhouette Of all the things you wanted to forget You made mistakes that you do regret And now it's getting hard to recollect So, bili tayo ng cobra kasi I need energy para sa ating kwan, cave exploration. Eto po. So, sa entrance ng sumaging cave, meron silang mga kasalubong dito. Mga t-shirt, keychains, I don't know if meron silang magnet para sa rock. Bibili ako nun. Meron silang love blocks dito. Sabi ni Kuya kanina, ano, um, di daw mahilig mga bit yung mga taga Sagada. O, di ba? I say hi sa ang vlog. Mga taga Bacolo das la. So, sa gilid ng Sumaging Cave entrance, meron silang napakagandang view dito. O, di ba? Uh, little 
Banawi Rice Terrace is the yung peg niya. Very beautiful. But I should. Da kuya, ready na mabasa yung mga salpo namin. Malalim ba? May malalim ba na part? So, pangalawang hagdanan lang to sa 20 na hagdanan na tatahaki namin. Wow. Amazing. While in Sagara, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, kill nothing but time. Hawa ka may? May tumutulo ba? Pag maginaw daw yung tubig, tubig daw yan. Pag mainit, alam mo na. Tae na ng maniki. The last but not the least part of today's tour is exploring Sumaging Cave. Among the 60 plus caves of Sagada, Sumaging Cave has the biggest chamber. It is even called as the Big Cave. This is where you can find countless rock formations from elephants to human sex organs. I was really worried at first because the only cave I've explored here in the Philippines was Puerto Princesa's underground river. And all I did there was to sit on top of a boat and listen to the tour guide. Here in Sumagin Cave, it took us three hours just to go down and back up, but it was all worth it. level one lang pang cave. Ito yung isa sa enjoy ko dito, guys. Yung para kang nabibate. Awa, hindi kita. Chakara dahil. So, bukada siyang elephant. Sa so, ito yung ano, yung nose niya and then yung ears niya. And ito naman yung anak niya. Ito buo. Ito yung anak niya. So, kayo na lang mag-decide kung sino yung anak. Actually, ito yung pinakamalaki compare dito. Hugasan ang tae. <laughs> hugas, hugas. Hugas tae. So, lam siya dito guys. Oh my god. Ito daw yung deepest cave. Not sure in the Philippines ba or in the whole world. Baka siguro in the Philippines. <laughs> o diba? So, napasok ko na yung deepest cave in the Philippines or world. Hindi <laughs> ako sure. But buo. Keep my head so clear Uy! Low map git eh! So ang lalim na ng binaba namin guys Like mag isang oras o dalawang oras na kami dito Pero tingnan nyo <laughs> May mas ilalalim pa pala yung cave na ito
Ako na. Last na to. <laughs> so that's a magging cave. <laughs> it was tiring but napakaganda. Very solid. You should try it. Sina ay. <laughs> Kaya pa. So, medyo maambon guys. And I need to finish this. Grabe sobra. Nakakahingal. I'm out of breath. <laughs> and that's it. I survived Sumaging Cave. Oh my god. <laughs> Sumaging. Super solid. Nervous and 